welcome to this lecture today we are going to discuss a very uh, important uh, disease polio polio mellitus it's often called polio and infantile paralysis it is an infectious disease caused by a virus the tissue most commonly affected by this disease is spinal cord which leads to the classical manifestation of paralysis polio is a terrible disease children who gets it cannot walk the word mellitus means inflammation in the spinal cord which often targets the insulating material covering the nerve fiber is called myelin polio mellitus word comes from the greek word polio means gray and mylos means spinal cord at primary level an infection of human elementary canal but it affect the central nervous system in very small numbers less than 1% firstly described by the michael underwood in 1789 first outbreak described in united states in 1843 21000 paralytic cases reported in the united states in 1940 1952 most affected children are less than 5 years old in the de developing tropical countries if you talk about india no reported case since january 2011 last case was reported in 13th of january 2011 in west bengal considered the polio free since uh, february 2012 and attended the status of eradication in 13th january 2014 now we move to the epidemiology as a result of massive and global vaccination campaign over the past 20 years polio exists only in few countries in africa and asia in the philippines the last polio case was reported recorded in 1993 and in 2000 the philippine was certified polio free by the unicef in 2005 here you can see the triangle of epidemiological trend agent is polio virus host is infect and children under the 3 years old males and females environmental factor contaminated water and food overcrowding rainy season agent the causative agent is polio mellitus is a polio virus it has three types sero type 1 2 and 3 mostly the polio occurs due to the type 1 polio virus the virus is found in the oropharyngeal secretion of the patient or infected with polio virus the virus can live in feces for 6 months in water for 4 months reservoir of infection is man man is only a reservoir of this infection infectious material is feces and oropharyngeal secretion of the infected person now we move to the environmental factors it is more likely to occur in the rainy season contaminated water food flies are the environmental factor which can causes the polio mellitus polio virus is excreted in the feces for 2 to 3 week sometimes 3 to 4 months in polio cases other causes of environmental includes overcrowding poor sanitization mode of transmission fecal oral route directly spread through the fingers which are contaminated with polio virus and indirectly through milk water food flies and other articles droplet infection droplet infection is the mode of transmission of infection personal contact with an infected person which facilitate the spread of infection how to do diagnosis diagnosis is done by the isolation of the white polio virus from the patient's stool and by serological tests risk factors age infants and elderly living with an infected person compromised immune system lack of immune nization against polio extreme stress now what are the clinical features the incubation period for polio mellitus is commonly 6 to 20 days with a range from 3 to 35 days the response to polio virus infection is highly variable and has been categorized based on the severity of clinical presentation management treatment of pain with analgesics such as pcm acetaminophen antibiotics for secondary infection uh, none for polio virus fluid therapy bed rest until the fever is reduced adequate diet 
minimal exertion or exercise, hot packs and heat pads for muscle pain, prolonged rehabilitation may be necessary, including braces, split and surgery. Hospitalization may be required for those individuals who develop paralytic poliomyelitis. Uh, if the respiratory is involved, long-term ventilation is necessary and physiotherapy may be necessary. Place the child on the firm mattress with support for the feet and change position frequently. Encourage the oral intake of food and fluids. Catheterization of uh, distended bladder may be necessary. Now, preventive actions. The best preventive measure for polio is to ensure the good hygiene and encourage the sanitization practices. But polio prevention means with the vaccination. Polio vaccine has been developed against the three subtypes of the polio virus and very effective in producing protective antibiotic that induce the immunity against the polio virus and provide protection from paralytic polio. Immunization, it is the first most effective means to achieve the prevention of poliomyelitis. The vaccine used for immunization has two types, IPV and OPV. IPV full form, inactivated polio vaccines and oral polio vaccines guide on the poliomyelitis immunization opv it is given by the oral root oral cavity number of doses three at the first dose six week after birth immunization interval minimum four weeks doses two drops storage condition minus 15 to 25 degree celsius at the birth, OPV dose is given, then first dose of OPV is given at the age of 6 weeks. Booster dose of OPV is given at an age 16 to 24 months. Vaccine, oral polio vaccine, OPV, doses, 3 doses, 2 booster doses, root is oral. Age at birth, 0 dose, 6 weeks, first dose, 10th weeks, second dose. 14th week, third dose, and 16 to 24 months booster dose. This is chart of vaccination of OPV. Oral polio vaccine include the humoral and intestinal immunity. It should not given administered in such a, such conditions like fever, diarrhea, dysentery, acute infectious disease, leukemia, malignancy, taking corticosteroids, isolation. The polio cases should be isolated during the period of communicability, 7 to 8 days before and after the onset of symptoms, and environmental sanitization. As polio occurs due to the certain environmental conditions such as contaminated water and food, it is also due to the poor sanitization and overcrowding, appropriate sanitary measures should be adopted to decrease the incidence of polio, and overcrowding should be avoided. So here. We move to the next point, hand washing and pulse polio campaign and immunization. What is hand washing? Hand washing is the most effective way to achieve the prevention. As the polio virus is excreted in the feces and it can go to the GI tract through the fingers, if hands are not washed after defecation, so it is important to wash the hand. And pulse polio campaign and immunization. In pulse polio immunization, oral polio vaccine is given to all children less than 5 years at the age regardless of previous immunization. It includes the two rounds for 4 days. On first day, polio drops are administered at both. Uh, on second, third and fourth day, homes are visited for administer. Now description of the virus agent, genesis enterovirus species poliovirus structure ssRNA enclosed in a protein capsid. Uh, types it has three types pv1 pv2 and pv3 differentiated by the type of capsid of protein size 30 nm in diameter pv1 is the most common encountered form and the most commonly associated with paralysis polio virus is very dangerous it comes in our body is it attack to the central nervous system and it causes disability Many times you have seen in your life disabled child with polio. Now it is currently uh, totally eradicated from the India. Now India it is India is free from polio. It's uh, very good for us. And uh, really thanks to WHO and the 
medical expertise and scientists they worked on polio and now right now our india country is free from polio thanks for listening this lecture i have done have a nice day